Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. A beautiful Saturday at that. Clear blue sky this morning. A few clouds way, way out on the horizon. 75 degrees, expecting a high of 91. Pretty low tide out here this morning. You can pan up to the north here. Oh, there's Roy standing out there. That little speck on the beach over there, our friend Roy. See a little sandbar that wasn't there yesterday. Might have to go check that out here, see if there's any neat shells on it. Gorgeous out here. Unfortunately, that darn barge is still sitting there. Keeping my fingers crossed that that dredging has ended and that thing will be disappearing soon. Oh, what the heck is this doing way up here on the beach? Look at that. Got a old horseshoe crab sitting here on the beach. I don't know what he's doing way up here. Hmm. What's that guy doing here? That's an old horseshoe crab. Pretty crazy looking things. Sadly, that was a dead horseshoe crab. A lot of times you just find the shells on the beach. They shed their shells regularly. Pretty interesting to watch them shed their shells. There's videos of that on YouTube. It's really crazy how they do that. Even crabs, pretty amazing to watch them shed their shells. If there was any crawls down at the south end of the beach last night, any sea turtle crawls. The ranger at the front gate didn't know yet. Hmm. Looks like a barge is heading out of the pass down there. The one that's got the backhoe on it that's the one that i think they're using to put the new channel markers in that's not the dredging barge roy said the dredging barge is gone so hopefully that one will be leaving soon too then all we got to do is Get rid of that mess sitting out there. I'm gonna walk along the beach here, walk up towards Wiggins Pass this morning, see what we find. Didn't find a whole lot yesterday as far as shells go. And there's lots of shells here, don't get me wrong, just those big beauties that we like to collect. We didn't see many of them. There's a piece of an old lightning whelk down here. Buried in the sand. It 
Has everybody downloaded their non-stop Naples app? If you haven't, do it. Go to Google Play or go to the App Store and download the non-stop Naples app. We're slowly expanding our rewards programs and coupons. seashells boy it is shallow out here this morning clean water though nice clean clear water ankle deep <laughs> right here I haven't been out here in a while. Very, very shallow low tide here. What's that down there? Something? Nope. Thought it might have been a little baby ray or something, but no. Boy, the water is warm. Man, 86 degrees. Very, very warm. We're gonna have a really low tide. We're a couple hours out, I think, still from low tide. It's gonna be a very low tide this morning. Now the water is about knee deep. A little fish just jumped up out of the water and looked at me over here. <laughs> What are you doing in my space here, man? Walk along this sandbar. Let's see if we find anything interesting here. It's amazing how every day you find something new, what the tides bring in. Little chunks of coral, little pieces of worm rock. There's a piece of worm rock up there, a couple pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. Drop, it starts to drop off here. Yep, I'm gonna jump up on the sandbar. It gets deeper out here. Conch shell over there. Looks like a conch. Yeah, or a, a, a whelk, a live one. Very neat. Wash it off here. A live pear whelk. Look at that. This is a live big one, too. 
Sandy. We're just talking about the live shells. There's a big live pear whelk out here. That's a crazy looking thing there, isn't it? Wow. That is wild looking. Never seen one of these before, alive. Wow, that is cool. See if he comes out and crawls around on my hand. Come back up here on the sandbar. Get some light on it. Isn't that cool? It's moving around really, really slow. Is neat. Beautiful shell. Obviously we're not going to be keeping this one. <laughs> I'm so happy to see life out here. Show you the underside here. I'm so happy to see something living out here. I was afraid the dredge Killed off everything. Beautiful, beautiful shell. That is so cool. I can feel it sucking on my finger. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I'm gonna put that back in, back down in the water where it belongs. See you later. I'm gonna put it out further so nobody gets it. Very cool. Great little find. What else do we got out here? Oh, another piece of worm rock. Worm rocks, I think that worm rock's really cool to look at. All the little worm tubes. Well, looks like they're gonna come over here and maybe get the barge. Do some work. Very cool. Very, very cool. Be nice if they tow this thing out of here. There's a nice little cockle shell down here on the beach. Nice little baby cockle shell. Another piece of a whelk shell. Part of a, a lightning whelk. What's left of one. Another little cockle right here. Lots of little cockle shells out here. Lots of cockles. Oyster shells. Got lots of oyster shells out here. Pieces of conchs, old worn out fighting conch shells out here. It's still on its way out. It's pretty low right now. Lots and lots of clam shells here. I mean, lots. Everywhere you look, there's clam shells. All, all dredged up from Wiggins Pass, I'm assuming. These clam shells are everywhere.
So I'm just offshore of Area 4, where Roy sits. Exploring the new sandbar. Seeing what we can find. Little worm shell, little worm tip. See a couple worm tips laying around here. Very tiny shells. A lot of big rocks too out here. Beautiful though. Walking around. Nice little breeze out here. Beautiful blue sky this morning. Now it looks like they're gonna do something to the barge here. This is the this sandbar is all new here. All this is new. Oh crud, somebody's gonna beat me out here this morning. All, oh, about a foot deep this water out here right now. And it kind of drops off. It's There's another little sandbar popped up over here. The Roy sits right up over there. There's Roy over there. But we were finding all kinds of neat things out in the water here a couple months ago when they started dredging. Now, hopefully it's all gonna change. We'll start finding more and more shells. Now it's mostly a lot of rocks that they pumped up from Wiggins Pass. Not really too many shells out here. Shells are out here are all crushed. I think they're trying to, hey, I think they're actually trying to move the barge. Fantastic. Are they going to get that thing out of here, finally? That would be great. Looks like it's beached itself pretty well there. They might be getting it out of here today. That will be fantastic if that leaves. Check out this little sandbar. See if there's anything on it, but I don't think so. Nothing's catching my attention here. Little seagull. or a whelk, a piece of a whelk shell. Wow, I'd love to find one like that. Somebody found a huge whelk here a couple nights ago. Beautiful, great big giant whelk shell. 
absolutely gorgeous shell. I think they're going to move that barge. They're yanking on it. It's, it's really up on the sandbar there. They're going to be able to pull it off or not at low tide. It is really, really shallow out here. As you can see, the water is beautiful, nice and clear. Absolutely gorgeous here. I'm gonna take a quick photo, bear with me. All right, I'm back. this morning. Happy Saturday, everybody. Our beautiful mile-long stretch of beach here at Del Nor Wiggins. Yesterday we saw a very interesting sea turtle crawl up in area five. We saw a sea turtle that climbed way up on up under the dunes, up up into the picnic area. And in an attempt to nest, we'll see if that was a successful crawl when we get up there this morning. Gorgeous, isn't it out here? Good morning, guys. How are you? You gonna be around, Roy? All right, I'll check back with you. <laughs> Just amazing how clear this water has gotten. It's taken about a week, but it's clearing up nice. Look at that. Beautiful out here. Another little sandbar out there. We're gonna have a low tide here, it looks like this morning, a nice low, low tide. All you shellers might wanna head out here. anything out here. You know, a lot of times the shells are just buried beneath the sands. You got to do some digging. They're not real obvious when you're walking along. You might just see a little tip of one sticking out. You just never know. sand dollars too. They're usually just buried in the sand. We have a lot of sand dollars out here. We don't want you taking the live ones home. But look how nice and clear it is. 
absolutely beautiful. Little fish swimming around out here. I don't know if I'll be able to walk out to that sandbar or not. It's starting to drop off here. Up to my knees now. If you look very closely, down there you can see an old lightning whelk shell down on the bottom. Piece of one. Remember last week we couldn't even see the bottom out here. Big difference. Get up on some high ground here. That's great. Look at that. Great view of the beach back there. Anything out here on this mound? Hey, by George, look over there. They've got the barge. They're pushing the barge out. Still got the hose connected to it from Wiggins Pass. I don't know how they deal with that. But hopefully they're moving the darn thing out of here. Hopefully they're not going to start pumping again. Well, it'd be great if they get that off the beach here. I was sure ruining everybody's pictures. <laughs> yeah, we'll know in a minute. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see a lot of stuff out here on this little island. There's some old shells. Stuff that was kind of dredged up. This, there's an old whelk that was dredged up from the bottom of Wiggins Pass, I'm sure. A couple fighting conch shells. Florida fighting conch. That's a nice little fighting conch shell. It's a nice little specimen right there, Florida fighting conch. I'll stick that one in my pocket. Another little one over here. Another nice specimen. Another nice Florida fighting conch shell. Here's a smaller one. Not as much color on the smaller one. Nice little chunk of worm rock over there. Beautiful out here. 
Got my own little private island here off of Del Norwegans. It's not gonna last long. As soon as the tide comes in, it's gonna be underwater. Hey. There's an old, looks like an old crown conch here. What's left of an old crown conch? Those are such beautiful shells. The crown conchs, not much left to this one. Those are one of my favorites. I really don't have a big specimen of one of these. I'd love to find one, a big one. Still over there working on that barge. Now the, the tow boat's moving off. I don't know where they're going. There's a couple guys on the barge with the pump on it. I don't know what they're doing down there. They're taking it, hopefully they're taking it apart. Getting ready to get it out of here. That would be fantastic. They did pull it out deep into deeper water, that's for sure. Let's march back to the beach here, wade back. I won't drown out here. It's, parts are very, very shallow out here, and then parts it just drops off and gets really deep. Here it's maybe 18 inches deep out here. These are the shadows from the pines stretching out into the water here. Hard to see in the shadows. You never know what you're gonna find crawling around out here on the bottom. There's all kinds of interesting sea life out here. It's starting to get deeper here as I'm walking back. Hello again. Boy, you could spend a lot of time out here this morning in this shallow water looking for stuff. Great opportunities. Great opportunities to come out in the water and do some shelling this morning. Gonna have a super low tide, it looks like. how clear it is. Here's a fighting conch down here, a live fighting conch. See him? Hanging out of his shell down there. Tuck him back in. See if he comes out and puts up a fight. He'll probably come out and put up a fight here. They don't call them fighting conks for nothing. Come on, get in focus.
you know, rinse the sand off them here. You gonna come out? Yeah. A lot of times, when you set him right along the shore, you'll see him, he'll come out of his shell and flip over. He's not very active this morning. I'm just gonna put him back in the water. He might have been out of the water for a while. So we'll just set him back out here. The Florida fighting conch. This is area five we're in now. It's the northernmost area at Del Norte Wiggins Pass State Park. The north end of Area 5 is where you want to head to if you want to do some fishing. There's no fishing down on the south end of the park, swimming only. Kind of hard to walk here. So many little broken shells out here. Well, that water is so shallow out here. You see the waves breaking just offshore? You can walk all along there this morning. That might even get exposed, the sandbars out here. We're still probably an hour away from low tide. tree stumps out here in the water. Never used to be able to see them until a couple months ago. We had a tropical depression pass by and it washed out. You can see. See how high that is there? That's where the beach used to be, up here. See how high the beach used to be? It washed all the sand out and uncovered all these old stumps from trees that were buried for Lord knows how many, many years. At a nice high tide, you, there's really no beach left here to even walk. But with this low tide, we can scoot right up here. You can see all the erosion over here. It's a good five feet. Up here, just a little ways, if you were watching yesterday's beach walk, that's where we discovered the tracks from a sea turtle. Another loggerhead that had crawled on the beach. I don't know if it was a successful crawl. We'll go up here and see if there's another nest. That'd be awesome. Yesterday, we were up to 47 when I left. beach out into the gulf and back down to the south. Gorgeous out here. Absolutely gorgeous. This is 
is where that sea turtle crawled up yesterday, right over here. She came right up here around behind this hole. You can still see a few of her tracks over here. See right there, that's some of her flipper tracks. She crawled up this dune. All the way up this darn dune to nest. I'll be darned, it was a successful crawl. Look at that. She came all the way up here into the dunes, up by the picnic table. Hey, awesome. That's number 48. I don't know if there were any successful crawls last night, but now we know there's 48. We're getting close to the 50 mark. Very, very cool. Look how high up into the dune she came, right up into the picnic area. That is awesome. But she climbed all the way up from there. Isn't that something? That is just amazing. I'm gonna take a quick little photo, bear with me. All right, wow. That was quite a crawl, right up into the picnic area. Huh. Another photo, bear with me. Sorry about that. I apologize, but it's either video or photos. You can only do one thing at a time on the iPhone. That was so cool. What a crawl. I mean, it's hard to get an idea how high that is, but I mean, she crawled up probably three feet up that dune. Crawled up there to make her nest. I don't know if you can see it back there. You should be able to see it just to the left of that bench there. Pretty darn amazing, if you ask me. Let me take a photo of that, bear with me. All right, I'm back. I'll keep walking here. Just want to take a look up at Wiggins Pass up here. See how the water looks. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous here. A little cloudy, but nothing like it's been. It's improving. Every day it's getting better and better. It's really nice down in Area 4 by Roy. Well, we get a low connection here. Every time we get up to this part of the beach, the connection suffers. It goes down the tubes. back and when we get up around the corner here but I don't think so gosh darn it we can always watch on YouTube remember that I always share a link for a better quality video that you can watch on YouTube nice little fighting conch here Dang it, Sprint. You suck. I know the water's a little cloudier up here at the pass.
that's also because the tide's still going out. So as the tide goes out, the water is kind of murky, picking up all the silt and stuff from the canals, the tannin in the water from the mangroves. So usually as the tide's going out up at Wiggins Pass, the water is always a little discolored. It's nothing to do with Lake O or Red Tide. Connection here, weak connection. A lot of fishermen up here this morning. changed since the dredging before the low tide there was a big sandbar out here that we could walk out on and go all the way out not anymore they dredged that all up you can see if you look closely you can see the new poles for the channel markers that they've dropped out there There's a lot of fishermen up here. Right now, the cellular connection's really, really weak for some reason, so the image gets very blurry. But I will post the higher quality version of this video on YouTube later and I'll sh post the link then on Facebook you can watch this video on YouTube the whole thing parts you missed whatnot but here we are at Wiggins Pass there's a nice little group of fishermen up here today Foot beach across the pass there. Beautiful blue sky this morning. Gorgeous out here. All the sea oats back there, just beautiful. Area 5 at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park, the very north end of the park. That's the Coquihatchee River. It's looking east up the Coquihatchee River and into Wiggins Pass, the mouth of the river. Cool, huh? Great view this morning. Let's see, we got a signal back. We got a little better connection. That's nice. Just hanging out here at Wiggins Pass, checking things out for a minute.
Looks like some fishermen heading out into the Gulf this morning. A couple boats heading out. Yeah, it looks like the dredging barge is still down there. I don't know what Roy was talking about. It looks like the barge is still down in the pass down there. I can't say for sure. Look at those guys, lucky guys heading out to do some fishing. Beautiful, on a beautiful Saturday. Head back down the beach, catch up with our friend Roy. See if he's got anything new to share with us. Maybe a couple little words of advice. Catching anything today? Nothing, nothing today? Nothing today. Uh, lately? Nothing, not good. Not much lately either. Uh, that's not good. I think, you think they're done with this business? I think we go up the stretching. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it disturbing the, oh, the environment. A lot. You think, I think they're, I think they're finished. What do you think? I hope so. Yeah, it'd be nice. I hope so, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, get our beach back. Yeah. Have a good day. There's a nice little fighting conch down here. Nice bright colors. There's a little cockle shell down here. Hey, that'd be a nice little, nice little cockle shell to hang on the tree, on the shell tree. It's got a nice little hole in it. I'll do that. signal will improve as I get a little further down the beach. Lots of cockles on the beach. Saw a lot of them today out on the sandbars along the beach. Look at the colors on that one. That's a great looking little cockle right there. That's a nice one. It's got a little barnacle on it. Yep, it's got a little barnacle on the side of it. I'm gonna hang this one on the shell tree. For everybody watching that can't make it to the beach, I'll hang this little cockle on the tree. Then we'll head back down and chat with Roy for a little while. 
hopefully by the time I get back to Roy, the signal will have improved. You can always remember, you can watch these videos now on YouTube. I'll repost it as soon as I can. seen any dolphins yet. I don't know if we had any new crawls last night. I didn't get to walk the whole beach this morning. But that crawl that we saw, that sea turtle crawl we saw yesterday, that was a successful crawl. That was amazing how far up into the dunes that girl crawled. That was wild. And our signal's back again. It's just dropping in and out here up at the north end of the park right now it's holding fortunately it records a backup Find a shell tree to hang this cockle on. See, as we just get a little south of Wiggins Pass, the water gets beautiful. It's starting to clear up. That's just because of the changing tides up there at Wiggins Pass that it gets murky. By the time we get down by Roy, it'll be beautiful. Let's step up to this shell tree over here. Sorry about that ugly connection. We'll hang this little cockle right up in here somewhere. Find a nice little branch. Here's a nice little branch right here. There you go. And good, we got our signal back just in time. That cockle shell right there. That's for all of our friends that can't make it to the beach. That shell's for you. You can see there's a lot of shells there on this tree. The reason people hang these shells are several reasons. They'll hang a shell and make a wish. Some people say a prayer. But the most common reason people hang these shells is they hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. So for whatever reason, that shell's for all of you watching that can't make it to the beach. I'm gonna take a photo of it, bear with me. We got several of these shell trees up here along the beach. These are sea grape trees, by the way, if you're wondering what kind of tree this is, a sea grape. Big round leaves. They actually get their seeds, they are big pods, and they get, they look like grapes. They look, looks like a big pod of grapes. That's why they call them sea grapes. Some people make jelly out of this. They make sea grape jam, sea grape jelly out of the berries. Even wine, sea grape wine. Let's snap a photo. All right, I'm gonna head back down towards Roy. Let's see, we had some erosion here too. See this little ledge here? All along. The 
water's really cleaned up nice there. I see our rangers down by Roy. What's going on down there? Come on, signal, get come back. See, the water's just getting better and better the further I go south. Hopefully our connection is back now. That's just saying the water is just getting better and better the further south we get from Wiggins Pass. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Come on, signal. The signal dropped out again. There's a turkey wing shell down here. The turkey wing. I'm glad some people are hanging on even with the bad signal. It's nice to see is there. You can't make comments or anything when the connection's low, but at least you're still hanging around. There's a little snowy egret. Looking for some breakfast with its little yellow feet. A little snowy egret. it goes. Isn't that beautiful out there? Darn it. The connection just dropped out again. Well, here we are, coming into area, leaving area five and heading into area four. Super low tide out here. We had a nice connection out here earlier. Pretty big drop off here. I'd love to get out onto that sandbar right out there, but it's really deep between here and there. I think I see a way to get out there. Connection just dropped out again.
I think I can cut across here. Get out there. gorgeous out here well, there's a bunch of fish just jumping right out here there's something just sticking its nose up over here just popped up there's a just debris yeah just debris I saw some fish jump and I saw something sticking up out of the water all kinds of little fish jumping right out here I don't know if you can see them in the water Kinds of little fish jumping around. Something chasing them. Hope it's not a big shark. <laughs> Lots of shells down here on the on the bottom. Lots of little fish swimming around too, it's amazing. park rangers up there well, let's head back towards Roy I don't see him up by his chair oh yeah I do he's up there sitting up there this morning. Oh, it looks like our connection came back while I was taking pictures. That's good. Let's see if it holds while we chat with Roy. And again, remember, if the video gets fuzzy. You can always go back and watch a replay of this entire beach walk on YouTube in a little better quality. I always share the links to that video on Facebook. Make sure you click on the ads that pop up on YouTube so I can make a little money. <laughs> Dropped out again. There's Roy. Hey Rob, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing great. You keeping an eye on what they're doing out there on that barge? Yeah, I'm auditing the operation. You're auditing the barge operation? Yeah, I think they're finally going to take it away. They got that compressor or whatever it is hanging up in the air there. Well, they, got, they brought another barge with a big backhoe on it. And they lifted that pipe over from the, oh. the barge that was sitting here on the sandbar over to their other barge. So, and then they just brought out this, this big white thing here. They brought that out with the tug and they just lifted it over with the backhoe and setting it on here. I don't know what it is, 
I suspect it's probably a sump pump. They're sitting it on the, the They're sitting it on this barge that was sitting on the sandbar. Uh oh, that's not good. Because they're probably going to haul that away, and maybe they need a sump pump when they're. Oh, I hope so. I hope they're it. not getting ready to pump again. Well, no, I had that white thing on it before they started to pump with it. I don't know yep. what that is. But uh, well, they're hopefully. setting it back on again. It's a kind of a big piece of stuff. The only thing I could think of would be a sump pump. What, yeah. else, what else would they sit on there? Or a big air compressor for yeah, something like blowing that. Blowing stuff out. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, is. hopefully it's over with and it's out Wouldn't of here. Wouldn't that be nice? Yep, be a nice relief to see yeah. our beach again. Yeah, that would be great. And the water's starting to clear up again. Yeah, you know, they stopped yeah, all good, that nonsense. Good for swimming. Yeah. You have to kind of worm your way around the sandbars to get out and take a swim. Isn't but, that something? Well, that's life, I guess. Really low tide right now, too. Yeah, I saw you out there wandering around yeah. out on the sandbar. I'm take one more quick walk out there before I go home. <laughs> Check out all the birds sitting out there. I think you there. like to wander out there for I some do. reason or another. Well, I like to swim over to, to China, and you like to kind of walk <laughs> over there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Without getting your feet wet. There you I've go. I've heard about people walking on water. Walking on water. I can't yeah. do that yet. <laughs> You're working on it, though. There huh? you go. <laughs> uh, so what's new? What, what did I miss yesterday afternoon? Anything? Oh, yes, the usual. Everything great. Took some long channel swims. That was about it. Oh, in the morning this morning, a beautiful red sky. Oh, wasn't that something? Sunrise, I saw yeah. that. So that was great. Any dolphins? No, no. no dolphins. I think this whole barging thing has kept them at, at bay. Oh, yeah, think. they haven't been coming in too close. They've been up at the up the, the north, the south end of the beach. Well, there, the other the day when end. I was swimming, when I was coming in, two dolphins came right close to me. That's something. And then were you out in the sandbar when that big black ray was there? No, I wasn't. There was a lot of shouting and pointing. I, I was in the water, so I couldn't see it. But apparently a big black ray swam over the sandbar oh, along wow. with a shark. Was that yesterday? A shark along with it, yeah. Oh, and a shark. Wow. Yeah. That must have been a neat... I, was... I wish I'd have seen that. Yeah, I wish I'd have seen that, too. That's always neat to see the rays and the I sharks. I don't know what kind they are, whether it's a manta or what it is, but they said it was big and black. Wow. Well, we'll be getting our stingrays here pretty soon. Oof, uh, that water starts that. warming up and those stingrays start showing up. Uh, well, the water's pretty warm now, I'll tell you. Yeah, it's it is. It's nice. 86 degrees. Good for a nice long channel Feels swim. warmer than that. So you I see, like it warm because I see stand that quite a while. She laid eggs up there, that turtle that crawled up there. Oh, there were eggs in that yeah. nest? Yeah. I that, didn't know. That was, it was amazing. Good. Yeah. Yep. So that's number 48. I don't know if there's it, it any more this like morning. It looked like a genuine nest, but I didn't know. So yeah. they did dig it out, huh? That was a heck of a crawl she made up yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Boy, <how? laughs> oh. Strong beast, all right. So you got any uh, advice for us today? Good advice? Good advice. Bad advice. You never give us bad advice. Well, good advice. Some people don't like to hear the good advice. <laughs> you know, like not drinking poison. Oh, that's yeah. really nobody good wa advice, nobody wants people to hear don't that. want to hear that. I got, a, I got I got a bottle of poison yesterday, from. Uh, yeah, I, I saw that on Facebook. You saw my bottle of poison. Yeah, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was very nice of them. They gave me some, some candy or something oh, special, they, all the way from. from cheese? Germany. Didn't they bring you some cheese? Cheese, that yeah, was it. Cheese. Yeah. Cheese, that was sure good of them, boy. We got some German cheese when we were on vacation. We went to one of the Amish people. places. Yeah. Where they make some good cheese up there. Yeah. But yeah, so tell us. So you're gonna give us some advice. Well, here the, here's the new advice, which is probably just as unpopular as the other advice about drinking poison. This is being um, uh, aware of your eating, eating control. Oh, yeah, that's a big I've one. I've talked about uh, all kind of mind control and all that sort of thing, and this is eating control because uh, what you eat is uh, very, very instrumental in your health. Mm -hmm. And and it's... Um, this is a big, big, important, uh, serious subject is, is watching your diet and eating yeah. the right things. And uh, it's come to my attention that uh, you can be a complete vegetarian and be extremely healthy and happy. You can get all your proteins from the vegetables, green vegetables, which yeah. is surprising. Back in the old days, they figured you had to have a big slab of meat to get your proteins. Then they decided maybe meat wasn't all that healthy. But uh, I eat fish, I like seafood, but apparently you don't even have to do that. I thought fish was pretty vital for your health. Right. 
but now I, I've heard that uh, I'm not a scientist, so I haven't studied it. But yeah, right. There is evidence that you can be a complete vegetarian and be extremely healthy. You don't get all kind of different diseases and everything. It cures up your other diseases, and and you uh, you get sufficient proteins from the green leafy vegetables. Yeah. I mean, it's not a 100% sure thing, but yeah. Well, I nothing. mean, I know people that are vegetarians that are so sickly, it's sad. Oh, really? <laughs> yep. That's too yeah. bad. I mean, it's really more about just eating eating a balanced diet and portion yeah. control, you know? Just, and eat slow. Well, That's what they always say, eat slow. Eat yeah, your meals yeah, slow. And masticate and, yeah. and, and enjoy it instead of gulping. Yep. I have to control. For some reason or other, you know, you're rushing through the day and you get to dinner and you rush up and gobble, gobble, gobble. Yep. Uh, and there's no reason for it. No. Nope. You should take your time. And I, I'm guilty of that myself. Me too. Another thing is the nervous eats. Oh, yeah. When, when you're nervous and tense about something, boy, you gulp food. It's part of the nervousness. And you don't even hardly taste the food, just yep. gulp it. Yep. So it ties into your emotional uh, situation too. So this whole diet thing is really vital for your health, really vital. Yes, it is. And I think a person should make an effort to study the diet situation. Get, get a hold of a good book or a good dietitian, somebody that's a scientist who knows what they're talking well, about. Well, they should start with your book. And get it well. I don't have. <laughs> only thing I've got in there is a recipe for my. And your vitamin C. For my pot. Yeah, and vitamins. That's all yeah. part of the diet, too. But it's a big, big subject, and you never get. I think you'll never get the exact straight answer because it's right. a constantly oh, changing. Absolutely. And your your own body is changing. You're getting right. older, and, and you're developing maybe some problem. And the diet could. You should alter the diet to affect to affect your own body as it changes. Well, each person is different too. I mean, so what diet, applies to one doesn't apply yeah. to the other, but. So you have to, I think you have to try different things and study it out, and see how these things set with your body. Try different vegetables. Yep. And you can eat cheese. Cheese is good stuff. Cheese, you can yeah. get your protein from cheese. Yep, beans. So you don't have to eat a big <laughs> slab of meat. Yep. Well, good advice from the doctor. I think the ba big slab of meat is detrimental to your health. Yeah, but it sure tastes good. You know, Nothing the, like a big, yeah. fat, juicy you steak. You know, the Japanese over in their country, they live healthy and happy for a long time. They come over here and take on the American diet. They drop dead just like everybody well, else. They eat meat. They over eat, here, yeah. They eat meat over there. They have Kobe beef. Well. They have, but yeah, absolutely. It's all about... So the American, it's all about the American killer diet, you got to watch for oh, that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because we're a wealthy country, and so you can have all kind of sweets. And I'm guilty of sweets, too. I love those homemade chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> so, so I'm no saint on what comes to it. I'm aware of, aware right. of it. And, uh, but you just got to control it. You're right. One chocolate chip cookie at dinner, and that's it. That's it. Yeah. Just <laughs> that's one. pretty hard. To, well, how big is it? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good size. Uh, homemade chocolate chips yep. are really good. <laughs> Have you ever had one of those cookies from the Ritz Carlton? They weigh about a pound. Oh, really? <laughs> they're huge. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to try that. Yeah. I think my my uh, daughter's coming down with her family, and they're going to be up there Thanksgiving. Up at the Hyatt. Yeah, yeah. they got oh, good the Hyatt, ones. Yes. The, Ritz, the Ritz has some huge ones. Oh, well, isn't that a Ritz up at the Hyatt? Oh, no, that's, no, no, that's a Hyatt. Oh, the Ritz here, huh? Yeah, the one down to the south of us down why here. Don't you, why don't you get me one? I'll try to get you one. I'd they're, like... they're like five or eight dollars a piece or something. Oh, really? They're good. I got a friend that works there and every once in a while he gets Maybe some Maybe he could sneak one out of the kitchen <laughs> for us. <laughs> well, that would be stealing. <laughs> so the cookie's almost as big as a pancake, huh? It is the size of a pancake and it's, oh, about that thick. <laughs> I'm does telling it, you, they're huge. Does it have any chocolate chips Oh, in yeah. It? lots of chocolate they have some with white chocolate and nuts and then the chocolate chocolate chips and well then you can go to walmart i don't know how i were talking about cookies but <laughs> you can go to walmart they don't have chocolate chip but they have chocolate chump oh, chunk yeah chocolate, chocolate chunk, chunk no, cookies the oh and there the are chips. big they're big chunks of chocolate they aren't chips they're, yep. they're chunks wow so they got some good cookies too
That is amazing. Everybody's got something different. Well, I'm going to go home and have cookies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Now we're talking yeah. about it. All that control in your diet and everything, well, like, that just went down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> you aren't kidding. That's yeah. how it goes, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to talk about. Easy to talk yep. about. Hard to do. It's exactly. the, same as, the same as forgiveness. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Easy to talk about. Awful hard to do. <laughs> do as... Do as I say, not as I do, right? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, too. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Uh, as long as we can enjoy life and have a few good laughs, laughs at, at ourselves. <laughs> that's it. If you can't laugh at yourself. Our own conduct. You know. <laughs> yep. Well, at least we know when we're, we're, act, we're guilty of something. <laughs> well, that's, part, that's a big part of it. That's a big part of it. <laughs> At least you know and then, you. <laughs> and then after you gorge yourself, you feel guilty, too. Oh, yeah. You not only feel bloated, but you feel guilty. Oh, yeah. So from all accounts, it's bad yeah, news. You get your body punishes you. You don't feel that good after you eat a big meal. Yeah, you get sluggish. and Guilty and bloated. Yep. <laughs> Other than that, everything's great. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's a good... Well, once so again... that's my word of the day. <laughs> your sermon for today. Whatever it is. That was today's sermon. <laughs> avoid, Father Roy. avoid being feeling guilty and bloated. There you go. Just well, be careful what you eat. <laughs> I'm gonna get move. I'm gonna walk out on that sandbar one last time while okay. it's still there. We got a nice low tide today. Yeah. All right, Roy. Oh, it's great having Father a, Roy. <laughs> it's great having some fun chats. Yep. We always have some laughs over something. Yep. <laughs> did you get some good hugs this morning? Oh, did I ever? And I got a hug from that German lady, too. Oh, nice. I, ha I asked the guy who spoke English pretty good. I said, how do you say hugs in German? Uh, he told me, so I how do you told say that it? to her you remember in German. How you say oh, it? I got a big hug. Do you remember how to say it? No, I forgot it already. <laughs> That's very important. You should write that one down. I should, yeah, for sure. <laughs> that should, that word should be a part of your regular vocabulary. I, I remember here. saying uh, bitter and then danke schön after the hug. I uh -huh. remember that part. I yep. think bitter is pleased. I'm not sure. Did I? Yeah. Well, I don't want to say anything. I don't know what it means. <laughs> danke schön, okay. I tried all my German on them. Well, there you go. Even singing old Tannenbaum. Oh, there you go. Did they, were they impressed? Well, we had they, some good laughs over it. They were looking at you kind of funny. Why are you singing that this time of year? <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. I told them my poem my dad always said in winter. And we have Christmas in July. Didn't I told them about when they were talking about how I get going so early. I said how my dad always said, Morgan Stunt hat Goldenmund. And what does that mean? Oh, who knows? Yeah, but he said it. <laughs> no, it means morning time has gold in the mouth. Has gold in the mouth? It means it's morning time is really valuable, worthwhile. Okay. Morgan Stunt hat gold in mud. All right. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't sure, it? Sure, gold in the mouth. <laughs> Maybe I it guess because means... he always used to bite a coin to see if it was real or something. Gold in the mouth. <laughs> Remember they used to do that? They yeah, put yeah, the, gold the gold coin gold in coins. their mouth. Yeah. They were soft enough to bite. Yep. Yeah, back in the old days. All right. Well, I hope you get lots of gold in your mouth. <laughs> well, I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, Roy. Always good seeing you. The dentist usually does that. Yeah, they, they're the ones. They've got the gold in their mouth. All right. The dentist. <laughs> Boy. All right. I'll see you later. How's the book sales going? Good? Going good, yeah. That's going I know well. I saw on Facebook yesterday somebody's going to be ordering a, several of them for gifts for Christmas. Hey, wonderful. I think you'll you'll sell a lot of those at Christmas well, time. I, I talked to Dave Henry. You know, he's so good about, about doing all this on the Amazon. And um, he's uh, going to come over today, going to work on uh, audio, getting it to be an audio book. Uh-huh. So that'll be good. Oh, well, that's great. So we can, they can sell also an audio book. Yep, that's going to so be fantastic. So the... oh, it's been a lot of fun. Yep, that'll be great. Hopefully it's going to be your voice on that audio book. Well, that's, that's what will make it worthwhile. On. Huh? That's what I'm planning on, if I could articulate. Yep, you can redo it. That's carefully. why they have editing. <laughs> All right, good me luck. If I, me, if I say a wrong word, they edit it out. Yeah, you just say if it I, again slip it you, just, use a, you redo it if i do something wrong and say oh something or other they there you go audit that out 
Yeah. Good. Well, yeah, well, that cut those parts out. <laughs> we'll have a special little thing at the end with all of the bloopers. Yeah, we can't have any <laughs> anything lewd and lascivious. You know, you said that about Amazon. I can't believe. I mean, some of these novels are pretty risky that they sell on there. Ris risque. <laughs> oh goodness, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I I don't, don't buy novels. I don't right. know. They've. I think you can sell anything on there. I, I, I think all they care about is making money. I, I wouldn't want to read anything risque. No. That sounds highly improper. That was back in the old days. Yeah. Back when you're on the water. Highly improper. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll see you later, Daddy O. Okay. Take Have a care. good one. Tally ho. Have a good day. Tally ho. Tally ho, and God bless. Yep. Bless all the Facebook friends. See, you were, sitting, you were sitting in a bad spot there. The signal was bad over there. Oh, really? Now the signal's good over here. They can watch it later on YouTube. <laughs> it won't go anywhere. It'll be around, floating around on the internet for eternity. Good show. Yep. <laughs> this video will be around long after we're gone. <laughs> See you later, Daddy-O. Have a good one. Oh, gorgeous morning out here. Always fun chatting with Roy. Oh, people out checking out all the new little sandbars out here. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome out here. It looks like they're getting ready to haul the dredge out of here finally. That is great news. Absolutely incredible news. Well, I want to thank everybody for watching this morning. Sorry about the interruptions, the low, weak cellular connection. Nothing I can do about that. It's all about my cellular carrier, Sprint. They seem to be having some issues lately. I don't know why. Sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. When you find something you like, hit the like button, hit the share button. Every day we get a couple new followers here. Let's keep it up. Our little beach community here on Facebook. Well, have a great Saturday. A great, have a great weekend. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.